Hi guys. So in this video, we're going to do this problem under temperature and heat. Let's see how we can answer this question. So a long capillary tube for uniform bore contains a field of mercury which at zero degrees Celsius is hundreds of meters and at um, 100 degrees Celsius is 101.55. So if the coefficient of real expansion of mercury is 1.28 and stand to the power negative 4, we're looking for the coefficient of linear expansion. So to start with, we're going to say uh, the volume of mercury at zero degrees, we'll call it, uh, we'll just use V. So let V be volume. Volume of mercury at zero degrees Celsius. Then V prime will be volume of mercury at 100 degrees Celsius, because remember, it's we're well, looking at uh, zero degrees as well as at um, 100 degrees. The next thing we're going to look at is uh, the cross-sectional area. So the cross-sectional area of the tube at zero degrees, cross-sectional area of the tube of zero degrees, so we can say area of tube. At zero degrees, then a prime can be the area of tube at 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, from there, let's look at uh, the change in temperature. So let the change in temperature T2 minus T1. This is just representing the difference. Let's call it the difference, not the change in temperature, but the difference. So, difference. difference between the two temperatures. Okay, after that, let's talk about the length of the mercury thread. So L is going to represent the length of the mercury thread at zero degrees. So length of mercury thread at zero degrees, then L prime, this can represent the length of mercury thread at it's supposed to be zero at um, hundred degrees Celsius. Okay, so now that we have this information, let's uh, go ahead and break down what we have. So to start with, we know that length of the thread, let's start with the prime, will be equal to the volume over area like that and same thing l is equal to v over a like that now we know that the, the since the length we have been given this expression that we have here we can easily say the length of the fridge is equal to v prime over a prime and we know that the volume in this case will be found by the formula v open bracket one plus gamma multiplied by the change in temperature. Everything is divided by area. The formula we can use is A multiplied by one plus beta. T2 minus T1. Not the change in temperature, but the difference in the, in the temperature. Let's write the difference. Okay, so now that we have this, we can, we have to identify something. Remember, L is V over A. Now we have the V over A here. We have V over A here. So we can write this to become L prime is equals to, this will just give us L. So L, open bracket, one plus gamma, T2 minus T1, Everything is over one plus beta T2 minus T1. Okay. So just in case you're wondering, gamma is representing the coefficient of uh, volume expansion, of which in our question, this is what we told as uh, the real, what is it? The real expansion of mercury. That is our gamma. 
then beta is simply the coefficient of superficial expansion. So we'll see how to break down. So now we're at this stage. Let's see how we can proceed. We can rewrite this statement so that it becomes L prime, okay, sorry, sorry. L prime is equals to L, this one here, open bracket one plus gamma, T2 minus T1. Now, this is multiplying with the denominator, which will have the power negative one. T2 minus T1, like that. The power negative one. So just for the sake of simplicity, for the next step, let's simplify what we have. I want to simplify it by saying, uh, let the difference in temperature, let T2 minus T1, Let's just use the symbol T for now. So uh, L prime, not T, how do I write T? So L prime is equals to L, open bracket, one plus gamma, which is uh, the coefficient of volume expansion. Now T2 minus T1, like I said, we're using T. We're just substituting this part with T, close the bracket, multiply it by one plus beta, Remember, beta is the coefficient of uh, superficial expansion multiplied by T2 minus T1. Now, T2 minus T1 is just T. Close the bracket, the power negative 1. So this is where we are now. Let's see how we can proceed from here now. So now, from this expression, um, we're going to apply some binomial expansion uh, concepts. It goes like this. If you have been given an expression, for example, 1 plus maybe px raised to the power n. Now n can be anything, can be a positive number, negative number, fraction, anything. So this, well, if we want only the two terms, two terms would be one plus n, whatever power it is, multiplied by p times x. So this is the concept we want to apply for this part. I hope you follow it. So our expression will reduce to L prime, is equals to L, one plus gamma T. So now this expression, remember this is just the same as this one that we have here. So we'll have it as, now I want to write it in this form, which is one, N, in this case our N is negative one. So negative one, our P is our beta, multiplied by X, in this case our X is uh, uh, T. So we have changed it from this form to this form using the concept of uh, binomial expansion. So now that we have this, how does it proceed? So whatever we have inside the brackets here, these two brackets can simply expand. So that we get L prime is equals to L. Then we have one times one is just one. One, uh, which one can we start with? Okay, one times one is one, okay. This times one will have gamma t. Then again, one times that we get negative beta t. And lastly, this times that we get a minus gamma beta t squared. So that we have. So now, the term that we have here, which is gamma beta t squared, this term will give us a very, very small value. Hence, the value can just be negligible, meaning that it will just um, approach zero. If that's the case, we can just remove this term since it will produce a small value which is negligible. Hence, we get L prime is equal to L, open bracket, one plus. For these two terms, we can factor out what is common, which is T. So we just remain with gamma minus beta T. Okay. Close the bracket. This value will give us something which is negligible, so we can just leave it out. So from there, since the coefficient of superficial expansion is twice the coefficient of linear expansion, or in other words, what we're saying is that um, beta is equals to two alpha. Remember, it is alpha that we're looking for. So the superficial expansion is twice the coefficient of linear expansion. If that's the case, here where there's beta, we shall replace it with to alpha, what we get. 
L prime is equal to L one plus in bracket gamma minus here we shall put two alpha t. So now we are ready to do the replacing and solve for alpha. So let me just take you back. Let's uh, give everything that we need. So L prime is L, what we have. So L, first of all, is um, 100 centimeters, and L prime is 101. So L prime is 101.55 centimeters. We change it to meters, hence we get 1.0155 meters. This one here is 100 centimeters. We change it to meters, which is just one meter, like that. Okay, so we have that. What else do we need? We need uh, gamma. What is gamma? So for gamma, we've been given, remember, the real, the coefficient of real uh, expansion is given by 1.82 times 10 to the power negative 4. So this value we have, 1.82 times 10 to the power negative 4. Like that. What else do we need? We need the change in temperature or the difference in temperature. So we said the difference in temperature, remember we made an assumption, let me just look for it. Where did we make an assumption? This one here. We had let T2 minus T1 be equals to T. So T, to bring it back, T is simply, um, no, not like that. I said T is T2 minus T1. So T is, T2 is 100, T1 is zero. So the difference is just 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, I hope we have everything now. So now to calculate the value of alpha, which is uh, the coefficient of linear expansion, we can do the substitutions uh, picking it up from this formula that we have here. So if we bring it aside, we can say, let me just write it down. We can say L prime is this value here, which is 1.0155 is equals to L, which is one meter. Now inside the bracket, we have one plus, here we have, um, we have gamma, our gamma is this one here which is 1.82 times 10 to the power negative four. Remember, we're subtracting two alpha, we're subtracting two alpha, and all this is multiplying with the difference in temperature, which is 100. Okay, if that's the case, we will have 1.0155 is equal to, this is just one, so it will read out. So inside the bracket, we have one plus, so now 100, times this value that we have in the bracket. Remember, here we have 10 to the power negative four. This whole value is attached, 10 to the power negative four, 100 is 10 to the power two. So if the 10 to the power two and this 10 to the power, if they multiply, the power subtract, hence we just get 1.82 times 10 to the power negative two, minus two alpha times 100, we simply get 200 alpha. Okay. If that's the case, this value is simply 1.0155 is equal to one plus. This value that we have here is 0 0.0182 minus 200 alpha. Okay, I think now we can even stop using the bracket. If we add these two values, we'll get 1.0182 minus 200 alpha. So this value across the cosine, hence we get 1.0155 minus 1.0182 is equal to negative 200 alpha. So negative 200 alpha is equal to, if we subtract these two values, what we get is simply zero, negative 0. 0.0. 0 to 7. So alpha will be equals to, so dividing the two values, so 0 0.0027 divided by negative 200, hence the value of alpha, 
the value of alpha is simply 0 0.0000 135 like that. So let's put it in standard form. 1.35 times 10 to the power negative 5. Units, it's a um, degree Celsius. So this is our value, the linear, the coefficient of linear expansion. So thank you very much. Uh, in case you have a question, please feel free to drop it in the comments. Otherwise, have a good day.